Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Alastor versus JJ Doe. This is going to be a Night Elf mirror match as we see Alastor spawning as the purple Night Elf in the bottom right hand side of Terranus stand. Meanwhile, off on the top left hand side of the map, we are looking at JJ Doe spawning as the orange Night Elf. Night Elf versus Night Elf mirror match. Are we going to be looking at some crazy Priestess of the Moon, Huntress Archer matchup as the Scouting Wisp are already going to be crossing each other? Um, well, and those are going to be a. <laughs> um, you're going to be um, looking at uh, different styles here. So I guess um, Al Alastor asking, like, hey, are you a fan of Priestess of the Moon? Um, and Jay. Well, JJ is just not quite sure what the question means as we are going to be going into the match up here. All right, the heroes of choice need a little bit more time before that altar of elders is completed. And then this game will be getting underway. Interestingly enough, both sides have opened up without an ancient of war yet. I am incredibly confused. There we go. There's finally an Ancient of War coming in from one side. There, There is a Priestess of the Moon. It looks as though it could be Huntresses. And it is going to be, in fact, JJ opening up with a Priestess of the Moon and an Ancient of War. Perhaps some Archers coming out as I still don't see a Hunter's Hall. Meanwhile, off on the other side here, where are these Wisps traveling to? I am just absolutely confused as the overall strategy. All right. We are building... No. This... Ancient of War, I take it back, is actually the Ancient of War of Alastor. It is not JJ's Ancient of War. That's why it's purple. Watch the minimap, Crota. And it's going to start trying to take down some of these buildings here. Meanwhile, the Hunter's Hall and the Ancient of War is already here. So we're going to be getting into some strange, strange engagements early on as that Ancient of War is going to attempt to try and take down this Moonwell. Moonwell is going to be absorbing a little bit of damage and... And here we are, here we go. Damage is already being had. We are looking at another Moonwell being built off to the side, hiding in position so that, well, units can still be trained. Wisp can also come across the line here to try and get some repairs going as Huntresses should be making their way out across here. Meanwhile, this Priestess of the Moon has quite a bit of distance to try and travel before it is able to um, well, do anything here. Wisp should be coming off to try and repair. Not quite sure why it's not doing exactly that. There we are. Finally doing a bit of repairs as the Priestess of the Moon now heading off to the north. We are looking at dual Ancient of Wars um, by once more Al Alastor here down to the south. But they are going to get aggroed over by a Wisp. And then, well, that Ancient of War is going to be taking a little bit of damage. But what is this? The, uh, the, the creeps themselves seem to be engaging all over the map. This is just one a strange game as the Priestess of the Moon now with Searing Arrows attempting to take down the Wisp that is trying to repair. Ancient of War, down to 420 hit points, taking quite a bit of damage. Searing Arrows trying to uh, deal more damage back to those Wisps here. We are getting in some repairs as well, as this is still absorbing quite a bit of damage. Down to the south, one Ancient of War, second of Ancient of War trying to be built, as Alastor is attempting to take down this one Moonwell, not knowing that JJ has another Moonwell already being built off to the north here, and this Moonwell is about to get taken, well, no, not going to get taken down. Some Searing Arrows could finish off some of those Wisps, but the healing from that moon well is doing enough of a job to try and keep all of these units alive and well this ancient of war nearly down to dead 135 hit points that damage 21 to 31 damage not enough to easily take down this ancient of war as huntresses are now joining out here on the battlefield all right this ancient of war about to get taken down there is a little bit more wisp action coming across a little bit more damage to be had who's going to get the final kill and the final shot goes to alastor taking down his own ancient of war so that it is destroyed all right a lot of pressure being put on that front moon well that moon well was drained a lot of gold went to try and repair it whether or not it was worth all of that action difficult to say 29 over 30 supply compared to 29 over 40 meanwhile the priestess of the moon of alastor going after this center rogue wizard creep camp here attempting to take it down and not getting slowed down by any of that 
well, any of that frost armor as it now picks up some rings of protection and looking to finish off the remainder of this creep camp. Down to the south here, Ancient of War getting aggroed by creeps. We are looking at sentinels trying to be trained up here as the Ancient of War is going to end up getting taken down pretty easily. All right, the creeps joining in on the battle, causing problems across multiple units. Um, as we're looking at now, multiple Huntresses about ready to come on into the action. All right, Wisp trying to make their way over, but they're not going to be able to get the repair in time as the Priestess of the Moon finally on the board with some experience. Alastra now coming in has a stronger, larger size army and could go after the remainder of these creep camps pretty easily. The difference, however, is that there is True Shot Aura versus no True Shot Aura and no mana on on Alastor's Priestess of the Moon, so the Searing Arrows isn't going to really be able to deal all that much either. More damage on those trailing Huntresses. Huntresses now able to retreat back. It looks like they will all be able to head back home as well as JJ looks to see what he does next here. Tree of Life, 38 over 50 supply. One Moonwell off the side here. It is already at full. Meanwhile, Alastor going after some more difficult creep camps, perhaps expecting a lightning shield to go down. Didn't see a lightning shield. And now we're going to see, well, in comes JJ once more. Level two now on Alastor. Alastor going to get that true shot. Or was he able to get the item? No, he was not trying to go back for that item. It is a scroll of the beast. Incredibly important lightning shield on this one Huntress, also causing a bit of problems as this huntress could have purposely hang or hung back in order to get more damage with that lightning shield across on two orange units instead jj now trying to make its way back off to the north here taking a quite a bit of damage experience not quite nearly as far as we're going to see them try and engage once more forest troll berserker is near has been hired and that is a represent a large amount of piercing damage against those rather vulnerable huntresses here meanwhile the remainder of the creep camp now finished up by jj it looks as though there was no no item was not picked up it is going to be a gauntlet of ogre strength plus three plus 75 hit points but apparently not really worth it there. All right, a little bit of bounce damage going across multiple units again. Army sizes or army sizes is 26 for Alastor. Meanwhile, JJ sitting at 35. And JJ also having on sitting on 15 Wisp could be trying to set up an expansion at some point and stage in the game here as we are still looking at tier one. Um, JJ off to the north. What is going on? Where is his army um, sitting at here across multiple units, perhaps trying to get to level two and level three for that level two true shot aura, which would be a very, very large damage bonus. Coming back and down to the south here. Well, Alastor looking to get up to level three, and there it is, already at level three, having double rings of protection of three and a four, and on top of that, having a scroll of beast. This could be used for a well timed attack when his opponent is only at level two. And if he's able to push with a stronger true shot aura and then add on top of that another 25% damage bonus, those uh, huntresses will be doing an, what plus nine damage per attack, pretty much really taking a big toll out of the opponent here. Glaive throwers are already being thrown into the mix as well. We should be looking at a little bit of healing, Tome of Strength, and, well, and Sentry Wards as well to try and stop any of the Shadow Melding. All right, we could see a scroll of healing trying to be picked up here. Units are going to be making their way through both sides. Priestess of the Moon of JJ going to be getting up to level 3 off of this creep camp. Meanwhile, we are looking at Alastor trying to heal up, use these moon wells effectively, and then move on from there. Our, all right, what is going on here? We do see an owl scout keeping track of the army. Level 2 true shot aura is now done. And a mana stone, not very, not incredibly useful, but um, does have some use for that priestess of the moon. Perhaps a second hero will be added up. A panda would look absolutely terrifying in this matchup with all that breath of fire two glaive throwers in the back being trailed up here huntress is now making their way down that glaive thrower easily going to get surrounded is going to try to get in some damage yes gets off one shot and now where where are all of these units perhaps going to try and travel off to next as we're at 48 over 50 supply compared to 48 over 50 this could turn into a pure pure base race scenario as the huntresses are taking down a building in well quick quick fashion there goes one there goes another trying to take down more of these buildings here meanwhile the glaive throwers are coming in from behind there are wisp brought to the fight here as we're going to be looking at this tree of life suffering quite a bit of damage both sides going after the other tree of life there's some repairs the repair is not going to 
it'll last for very long as that tree of life does get taken down off on both sides ancient protectors looking to be destroyed as well glaive Thor is trying to take down the ancient protectors as the priestess of the moon gets up to level four and now all of these buildings are going to get taken down here all right multiple wisps getting taken down there are two or maybe a handful of wisps that are left here the huntress is going to try to go after those units there goes the last or second the last wisp trying to push that away meanwhile there is no that's just an owl scout a new base already established by jj off on the top right hand side of the map he may have thought that well my opponent no longer has um, any wisp to escape who's going to come out ahead as Alastor trying to set up a base where his opponent previously was and now well starting locations don't matter as your buildings are completely gone no upgrades to be found 635 gold for jj meanwhile 157 for alaster as the top right hand side of the map holds one ancient of war and one tree of life needs to train up additional wisps but that's the problem is currently supply blocked and unable to train up any extra wisps either all right new buildings new bases off on the top left hand side of the map ancient protectors being placed down and with now that well Oh, does Alastor realize the situation? If he has no wisps at all, he needs to have an ancient protector actually start building a moonwell or do something different where it would not end up costing the life of one of his wisps. He's not going to be able to mine anything out of that gold mine if the game does try and go long. Meanwhile, down to the south here, that is going to be easily taken down unless you are going into a pure defense mode yeah that is a problem there is gonna be zero wisps for alaster when all is said and done meanwhile off to the north here there is still one wisp left apparently somewhere um to be to try and build up some moon wells where is that wisp oh no it is another tree of life down to the south so both sides are gonna have a similar problem they're gonna need to kill off their own units if they want to train up any wisps Glaive Thrower is now making their moves back around here. We're going to go, be going into an engagement. Here we are, Scroll of Healing, Scroll of the Beast, Scroll of Protection, and the units are now going to simply engage on in. That Scroll of the Beast would have been useful against those Glaive Throwers in the, ba in the back here, but, well all of those consumables were already popped here we are ready to go gonna try and engage finish off all of these units off to the north entangling that gold mine but what is it gonna do when you cannot do anything mining here scroll of protection also being new scroll of the beast looks like it is still working temporarily as the glaive throwers should be engaging against the huntresses but are not instead going after these other buildings instead all right a wand of illusion gonna absorb some of that glaive bounce damage and it looks like Alaster is going to have a little bit of a difficult time as the Glaive Throwers finally switch their targets onto a different unit. Trying to come back after all of this time here to perhaps take down some of these units here. But the Tree of Life was taken down. A new Tree of Life still being built as the Huntresses are dying on both sides. Glaive Throwers looking to try and retreat here. More units are dying across all the sides here. And who is going to end up coming out with the victory as another, well, unit gets taken down. Priestess of the Moon now finally gets up to level 5. Is it going to be level 3 True Shot or are both sides engaging? back and forth and it looks as though what well, the supply problem is going to be coming to an end as the priestess of the moon does have an owl scout here and could try to finish off some of those other units as well a couple of orange huntresses trying to hide how much damage can be had here as they're going to be dancing around well there goes one there goes another tome of strength that represents a couple extra hit points as well as the units are retreating all right one final shot level five now on jj as well wisp and um, well still currently supply blocked they need to actually kill off some of their own units and that's exactly what's happened masha or Al alastra has actually lost enough units to really be able to build up some more units here once again army sizes is 10 compared to 11 but there are three ancient protectors here to offer a bit of protection for this new base up on the top left hand side of the map coming back down to the south here well no moon wells is a sad sad day is jj gonna take out one of his own huntresses in order to be able to start training up some wisp and getting into a fight we are looking at the priestess of the moon trying to wander around here does have a scroll of town portal can head back home pretty quickly moon wells need to be starting to be trained up here and once a moon well is down well alaster should be able to build up more and more all right where is that last huntress huntress is well currently hiding um and there is well, I guess there should be enough gold here to try and build a moon well in just a second as does Priestess of the Moon now trying to retreat back. 
Who would have thought Bean Supply Block would make such a big difference here as a new Moonwell is now currently being placed down. Perhaps in the backside here would have been a better spot as it is well protected by those Ancient Protectors. Priestess of the Moon trying to retreat all the way back here is going to have the help of three Ancient Protectors as the Huntress is going to quickly straight go after that. There goes one Huntress. Another Huntress could easily get taken down as the Priestess of the Moon already trying to retreat all the way back here. And now in comes the engagement. JJ going after all of the units. Scroll of Town Portal. Is it going to try and teleport back out? How much damage? There it is. There's the teleportation. Where is it going to teleport off to? And JJ now needs to teleport out as well as it would not have been able to survive the on slot from all of those units all right more wisp to be trained a moonwell heal wisp gonna start jumping on inside meanwhile down to the south here more wisp being trained and trying to get full saturation on this gold mine it is priestess it is huntress priestess versus um huntress only at this point in the game and staying hidden inside the space as this huntress now goes to the south here to try and put pressure on this entangled gold mine all right priestess of the moon has seen at 194 hit points is that tome of strength earlier going to be the difference between victory and defeat potion of invulnerability jj now pushing on through gonna go ahead and try and engage put pressure there searing arrows who's gonna come out on top and there's that a little bit of potion of invulnerability trying to go after that priestess of the moon priestess of the moon down to 31 hit points could accidentally get hit this is gonna be a bad problem and well down it goes a beautiful, beautiful, funny end where the Tree of Life gets the final hit and gets the win there as the economy of Alastor well, going, gets going once again. All right, a crazy matchup there with Priestess of the Moon, some base swapping all together. However, um, Alastor opening up with that Ancient of War on that front door. An absolute fun game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.